Hey guys, it's Steve from the Tech Buzz Gaming, and today I want to do a review of, you guessed it, Space Ace, the brand new cabinet from our friends over at New Wave Toys. Now, I do want to let you know that they did send this to me for purpose of review, but they have not reviewed or have changed anything that I'm about to say in this review. So let's dive in and take a look at this awesome cabinet. All right, let's take a look at this. Space Ace was developed back in 1984 by a company called Cinematronics, and they were classified as an adventure game. Now, one of the cool, unique things with Space Ace as resembling Dragon's Lair is that it has that cartoon-like appearance. So this game being a one-player or two-player game, but you can only play one player simultaneously. Um, it has the ability for ambidextrous controls. You have an eight-way joystick, a one-button fire slash energize button, and the sound was amplified stereo two channel. Now, the cabinet was always in an upright state. Um, Cinematronics, for those that don't know, also released 33 different machines under the trade name starting back in 1976. Other machines that you might be familiar with that they actually had created and introduced was World Series Baseball, Express Delivery, Power Play, Mayhem 2002, World Series The Season, Hovercraft, Bricks, Cosmic Chasm, Dragon's Lair, and Freeze. In Space Ace though, you play as Dexter, also known as Space Ace trying to rescue Kimberly, your wannabe girlfriend, from the evil commander Borf, who has his inferno ray that can turn you into a baby. Cartoon animations by Don Bluth of Disney fame, Space Ace has been a cult favorite in the arcade for years and years. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about the conversion in the original arcade. Now you can see that I have the original version of the arcade. There was a conversion. Now the conversion was essentially the Dragon's Lair cabinet, which they changed out the marquee, they changed out the graphics, but the buttons and everything were pretty much the same. The PCB board is the same, believe it or not, as Dragon's Lair, just the ROM and a disc swap. Of course, to play the other game, you had to do that. It also uses the same laser disc setup. So I want to talk a little bit about how this is done. The score is displayed on a separate LED score panel um, and not on the screen. If you notice, the monitor only displays laser disc video and no RGB is sent from the main PCB. Base Ace also has an extra PCB called an enunciator board. This board flashes the three LED push buttons used to select skill levels at the start of the game. The three levels are Cadet, Captain, and Space Ace. Of course, I played on Cadet. This game came dedicated in a cabinet different from Dragon's Lair, but it's similar to the Scion game by the same company and also in the exact cabinet as Dragon's Lair and as a conversion kit for the Dragon's Lair game. The Pioneer PR7820 laser disc player was also used. And of course, New Wave Toys has included that here in their cabinet. And what a reproduction that they did. They made it so lifelike and realistic, it almost feels like it plays itself. Does this sound like fun? Well, maybe you should check out New Wave Toys and get yourself a copy of Space Ace. Space Ace also has a intuitive menu where you can choose how hard the game is. You can also choose how many lives that you have. And of course, by doing so, I also put it on infinite lives so that, well, I can actually try to finish the game. You've got your charging port here. You also have your USB 1 or N USB 2 if you want to hook controllers up to it, and then the HDMI port to go out to the TV. And then down here, let's get this open here. I haven't opened this yet. There is your laser disc player that uh, you can pop out, take out of the bag. And it's actually a working laser disc 
and, um, where, well, let me, let me phrase it this way. You can open it and actually put a laser disc inside of it. So let's take a closer look. All right. So since I can't do this with two hands, um, I popped the disc out. You can see it looks really, really just like a regular laser disc. It's got the nice shine to it. And um, right here is the actual laser disc player. The laser disc, you can see it even has the model number of the original. And then what you do is you just open this up and you can put the laser disc inside for safe storage. So what I usually do is I put the disc in here, I close it just to make it, and then I'll stick it in the box with the case. Um, under it, I'll stick it back in the drawer. So like so, I'll put that flat in the bottom here. And then there's even foam in there. I don't know if you guys saw that. There's foam in there to kind of keep this padded from slamming around. There's even pad on the sides to keep it from scratching. And then you simply just put the drawer back in as if it were to be in there to play. And so um, just like everything else, the labels and everything, just like the original, you even have Cinematronics, their sticker that's on there. Now, when I did get this, the marquee, was falling off I had to snap it back on it was like laying in there I could see the inside of there so again it was just minor things happen in shipping but other than that the quality is there with this cabinet and uh, again I'm really impressed and thank you so much for New Wave Toys for sending this out for review uh, we really appreciate it I really do and um, I look forward to all the products that you guys keep putting out over the next couple of years and it's always exciting to see these come in the mail. All in all, I really think this cabinet really exemplifies the original cabinet. Now, when I was growing up, I didn't see the original cabinet. I always saw the conversion kit where they took the Dragon Slayer and made it into Space Ace. So I really wanted to have that as New Wave Toys gave us an option to have the conversion kit or the original. And I thought I would like to have the original since it's not something that I would have normally seen in my local arcade. So as always, New Wave Toys has done a tremendous job in creating a, a, an experience with this that you get everything inside of the package from the coins to the laser disc to having the working marquees and also the coin buttons. Overall, the wood, the game, the ROM, the whole nine yards, it just plays exactly the way you would expect it. Having the HDMI out so you can connect it to your TV always makes these cabinets a great addition to any game room or conversational piece. Speaking of conversational piece, these games I get more questions about when I have them set side by side with all the other ones as do they work? Wow, they look so much like the originals. And when I tell them that they're fully functional and they can play them in that scale, it blows their mind. And I'm like, if it doesn't work, we can hook it up to a TV so you can see it better. Overall, I love getting these for decoration pieces in the game room. And I'm really looking forward to Ghouls and Ghosts that's gonna be coming out. So I would say to you guys, based on the review here, if it's something that you think that you want, check it out because I think you won't be disappointed. New Wave Toys has always been a great asset in the gaming community and I continue to get excited every time they put out a new product and a new video game that is in the replica of the original arcade. From the packaging to the contents of the box to the packaging to the arcade, New Wave Toys always hits a home run. Guys, I really hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing, hit that like button. I'm coming up here on 8,000 subscribers and you know, slow and steady wins the race, but you know, always looking for the next milestone. Guys, I really appreciate everybody that's tuned in, everybody that's liked and subscribed and followed this journey. And uh, guys, until next time, keep it buzzing.